Hello everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. Last year I promised you an update on my experiences with shockwave therapy in Peyronie's disease. Later in this video I will show you some pictures of the results I have observed. But for all of you who watch this channel for the first time, I would like to inform you that there are several videos about Peyronie's disease on Euro Channel. I gathered them in a playlist which I am going to link at the end. In short, Peyronie's disease is a chronic inflammatory condition of the penis of mostly unknown origin that causes the penis to curve with erections. It also goes along with erectile dysfunction and a substantial shortening of the organ. Many men have never heard about this condition despite the fact that most probably one out of ten will suffer from Peyronie's disease in their lifetime. Treatment of Peyronie's disease is difficult and very often Surgery is the only option left. Surgery should not be done during the inflammatory phase of the disease because there is a risk that it will continue to bend afterwards. For this reason it is highly advisable to wait for the stable phase which is approximately after one and a half to two years. My strategy for the inflammatory phase is to stop the inflammation and prevent further deterioration of the angle in order to avoid surgery later on. Reducing the angle is what most of my patients want, but this is something that is difficult to bring about. In my opinion, there is no single treatment modality which is able to accomplish that. Rather, a multimodal approach has the biggest chances for success. If you want to know more about what I do in detail, check out the playlist I will be linking at the end of this video. In non-calcified plaques, I use shockwave therapy ESWT. What I discovered is that shock waves soften the nodule within the penis during treatment. Immediately after the treatment and for about three to four days, it is hardly palpable. Then the area becomes firm again. In my opinion, this opens a window of opportunity for stretching devices. I always combine ESWT with penile stretching. Stretching requires a lot of determination and compliance by the patients because we are talking several hours every day for a number of months because results will only be visible long term. Long term means 6 and 12 months and even beyond that. Ok, update 2022. Combining ESWT with traction for reducing penile curvature is effective but for some unknown reason not for everybody. Here are some pictures. This one has been taken before treatment. As you can see there is a substantial downward angle. Six months later after 15 sessions with ESWT and daily stretching it looks like this. I used 5 micrograms of alprostadil to bring about the erection. For the sake of the YouTube community guidelines I threw some filters on the images. But you still can see what happened to the angle. This patient consistently used the stretching device for 4 hours a day and the result is obvious. The angle has reduced remarkably. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. In some cases ESWT was able to soften the indurated area permanently but the angle so far has been unaffected. Stretching done inconsistently maybe? The device has to be worn every day for several hours, something that requires an enormous amount of discipline. Or maybe effects are still to be seen in a few months. As I said in my earlier videos, ESWT as a standalone solution most probably doesn't do the trick. It's the multimodal approach that has the potential to change things for good. For the time being, I don't use shockwaves for calcified plaques anymore. Although I have seen disintegration of calcified plaques after high energetic shock waves, ESWL that is, it doesn't seem to be possible with low intensity shock waves. Most probably, Peyronie's disease with calcified plaques will have to be operated on in the stable phase. Apart from that, and regardless of calcification status, in my opinion, nothing works better for erectile pain than ESWT. If you want to know more about Peyronie's disease, here's a playlist with all I have uploaded on that topic so far. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.